What's up guys, Prometheus here. Now here's another tutorial. Uh, we're gonna be making a custom outro for a YouTube video. Uh, let's get started. I already imported my uh, media files and I'm gonna show you exactly what we're, what we're gonna be doing. Uh, let's go ahead real quick and create a new composite shot. Uh, now typically you want to make it um, a minimum of 25 seconds. I would say no more than 30 seconds for this intro. We're going to add a new plane right here. Um, we can make it, let's make it red. And uh, this is a little template I made previously of uh, another outro. Why not, uh, you know, work for that? No need, no need to uh, recreate the wheel, you know what I'm saying? So we got this right here. Um, actually, you know what? Let's flip it up and we'll flip the script. We're going to go ahead and click on the rectangular mask. And we're gonna make our squares rectangles i'm sorry there we go that's pretty good and now you want to make the other one so you're gonna have to click on the plane and then go ahead and go drag that one bingo right there and then now we want to click on the plane once more and we want to make this circle so we're going to uh, hold our left click and then go to the ellipse mask and then click on there and drag it now we want to sh make it a little bit bigger, not exactly the same size, but you want to go ahead and click our pointer or selection tool and increase it just uh, so. There we go. Um, now we need, we're done with the, uh, we're done with this right here. And we can actually uh, bring that out here. We're done with that. We can increase the opacity back. Uh, just for now we'll leave it just like that and then of course i forgot the uh background here we need to do the background it's always good to have um, a texture folder which i do somewhere in here which is right there we're going to add this uh dark brick for the background and that's going to be a pretty nice one right there um let's go ahead and actually we want to maybe I'm thinking we'll leave that right there. Maybe raise the circle mask. <clears throat> Excuse me, we'll raise it up just a hair. I'm gonna make sure it doesn't uh, interfere with uh, when we're adding in stuff later. All right, there we go. And then we need to add some sort of text. Uh, let's go ahead and add uh, those two are our text um label here tab and then let's go i want to i always like the impact fonts because it's nice and big and uh width wise uh, let's make it probably about 108 i would say we'll double check here in a bit and let's just put like uh thanks for watching okay we can increase that size let's go ahead and increase it I like that and increase right there and let's see where we need to position it that way it's gonna look its best I would say somewhere right here but we need to figure out um, we could put it right here kinda which would be okay um yeah let's do that for now just for tutorial purposes now later on uh, when you're doing this you may want to uh, save this and then you know that way when you're trying to upload stuff it may or may not need to be adjusted as far as uh, like these things go so that way you can um, do that uh, later if it doesn't necessarily work to your liking all right we're gonna add um, this is gonna be a hard thing one so we're gonna add a dragon on top here which I like horror. I'm a big fan of horror movies and I play a lot of horror games. So we go ahead and put it right here. I think that's gonna look good. We go to our effects tab and we're gonna do the set matte effect. And we're gonna click and drag it onto this picture. And from source layer, we're gonna do the new text. And boom, you can kind of drag it and then shorten it if you want. I think that's okay. Um, now we're going to go back to our media tab and do the same thing for all these pretty much. Let's go ahead and do Pennywise. We will need to go to the controls tab and, uh, let's see, shorten it. 
um, scale it down quite a bit. I'll just go ahead and that looks, I guess, pretty good. Uh, we actually might need to get them up there just a hair like that. Let's try that and see. Set matte effects, drag it onto the Pennywise picture, and the source layer is going to be the new text. Uh, we'll need to um, drag it there, maybe. Now let's up it a little bit there. Okay. And then this is just to give you an idea. You don't have to necessarily have to um, make it horror. You can do anything. It could be a picture or whatever. Uh, we're going to add uh, Michael Myers to that. And of course, again, we're going to have to scale it down. Uh, I'm scaling down. Boom. And then we'll set them right here. And of course, we'll have to do some tweaking here. All right, let's go back to the effects tab and click and drag onto the Michael Myers picture and then source again and it's going to be the new text. That looks pretty good. Um, let's go back to the media and we're going to do the Demigorgon. Um, scale it down right here. We're going to scale it down, I guess, to... Um, right here maybe i'm guessing yeah let's let's try that once again drag and drop onto their source is going to be our new text now you later on you might want to label these you know uh, so that way you don't get confused and i need to definitely do that eventually all right we got um bruce campbell or I should say ash williams character from army of darkness oops Go ahead and scale it down. Bring it over. I'm gonna st stretch it out a little bit because that's the rest of what we need right there. All right, and once more. Oops. Next tab. Set mat and boom. Back to the uh, thing. There we go. That looks pretty good, but we need to, it kind of gets lost in the background. So we need to do a little extra stuff to make sure it is uh, to our liking. Okay, let's, let's go ahead and we'll highlight the new text and then we're gonna want to do the, uh, I'm gonna make it a 3D plane, I guess. It's gonna just add the camera. Um, now we want to do the extrusion. We're gonna look for that, a 3D, extrusion right here click and drag it onto there and then we want to go to the extrusion and change the depth uh actually you know what let's go ahead and hide that for now and then and then okay now we need to do oh uh, i see hold on so we're going to have to add these in order to make it uh, perfect. We'll add each picture. It's going to be 3D plane. I think it'll look a lot better. And that's kind of what we're hoping for. Now we need to take each of these. And uh, we need to add them. Boom. Okay. That's good. We added that. Next tab. Each of them is going to get it. In. I guess you could uh, do a grade and add it like that. So uh, that we could do that. Actually, actually be a lot easier, I would say. Um, if we can do that, add a grade there. And then make that 3D, the grade. And then what we're going to do is effects, extrusion. Um, I'm not sure exactly. Um, open that up. And then let's try about 45. And then we're going to need to actually oh, da, 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 da. Uh, no, excuse me. Mm -hmm. da, 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 greed. Okay, never mind that. <laughs> I'll do that later. <laughs> so we'll just get rid of that for now. Uh, so we have these. I think we have extrusion for what this one. I can't remember. I think it went too far back. Anyway, so we'll just drag it. I think we unchecked it, but we'll change it to like 40, 
55, mm, what, 60, 55 sounds good. That looks pretty good. And now we go ahead and then do the rest for all those. Uh, we'll just go, you can also do this. I didn't think about that. Uh, copy. And then we'll go down to the Demigorgon and the effects and then paste that. There we go. And then same thing with Michael Myers. Go down to the effects and paste that as well. Uh, that's another, these are another way to do it. Um, there's other ways, but I think this is working so far. It looks like at least. Um, and then we're going to do, um, was it a cop? This one right here. X tab and paste. Boom. Okay. Boom. 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 You don't have to do that. It's just an extra step, though. Um, it's gonna be kind of hard to see that. Uh, but these are here looking pretty good. Maybe for now, uh, we'll just maybe not have the uh, extrusions for now, and then think about uh, later for another one time. Okay, looks like that's all back to normal, but uh, we still wanted to do something else, you know? We want to make it, uh, maybe we could try a glow effect here and uh, bring it back down here. And uh, where's the text at? Looking for the text, uh, which we want to apply the glow to. Is it the, uh, where are we at, where are we at? There it, there it is. Okay, and then we'll just appear it right there so it does the glow. Now what we need to do would probably be a good idea is to uh, close all this up minus the um, the text so that way we have a good idea of where we're working at. So we're going to take this and look at the glow effect here. Um, let's see what we can do with the glow effect. Now we open this per channel intensity. It's going to change the colors. We kind of want it to, I don't know, we're going to mess with it. It's all preference though. I think that's pretty good actually. That's cool. Well, we can also make it a different color. We don't have to deal with that. You can drag right there. Looks pretty good. And I'm trying to look for, I'm not sure what color I want, but I just want a color. That looks pretty good. I think that's going to be fine. And then we're going to do the in intensity increase. Okay. That's looking, it's starting to come together real nice. Cause it's going to make it kind of the text pop out a little bit. And now what we want to do is, I think that looks really nice. Um, let's go ahead and go to the plane that we were just working on. I think it's this one. Bingo. Yep. Now we can do, also do, there's an option here that we can go ahead and uh, we can just take the opacity down if you want. Kind of make it show you the background. There we go. And I think we want to do maybe... The neon path, uh, right there, perfect neon path. We're gonna drag it onto the plane. Now, from here, we can do a bunch of cool stuff. We can leave it like this, which is not bad. It's not bad, uh, but we can check out these other ones. These are really nice uh, medical. Uh, once it goes away, but then you have to change it back. I don't know why it does that, but. It does do that. So that gives you a nice little cool little feel. But then you can go a step further, go into here, and then change the colors as far as that goes. Uh, let's see. Inner glow. We'll change it to, I'm not sure. Let's change it to this, I guess. Kind of make it a blue. But, um, of course, you can go to the outer glow and core. Change those. I kind of like the... It's green on the outside and kind of red. But we can also do something else here. We can increase the, the width of the inner glow where it kind of makes it like that i think that looks really good actually and then um which turned out pretty nice now what you can do is um you can also add more text or you have a little spot for your um you know social medias or you know, click the links down below blah blah and then you can also uh, play around with it save this you know We'll go ahead and follow and save it as uh say outro project or something outro project and then for that also that way later if you like i want to change the colors i want to tweak something 
you know move these around because you don't know if these are going to fit just yet these will fit right here but what i mean in this you just click and expand it in the youtube when you add that end screen element but right here i don't know exactly where it cuts off at so but i think it should work um if you um thought this video was really helpful uh, go ahead and smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe guys um comment down below if you have any other um suggestions or um any questions for that matter i think i'm going to try to put this as a um a um, freebie on my store uh coffee store uh so and the links will be down below as well for that um all my social media is down there so have a look um drop me a follow and uh guys i'll see you guys next time happy editing Catch you later.